Hey everybody, my name is Blake Hadley. I am the president and one of the founders of My Social Practice. I am so glad that SmileSnap invited me to present to you today about six social media action items to attract new patients in 2021. Let me tell you really briefly about My Social Practice. We have been in the industry for over 10 years now. We have worked with and partnered with some of the industry's top leaders and companies. And we also have one of the largest social media followings in the industry. We really practice what we preach. We dive into all the social media tools and all the digital marketing tools to really understand them so that we can help dental practices the best we can. I wanna start my presentation by talking about the six principles of persuasion. Uh, these were created by Robert Cialdini. He's a well-known psychologist in his book, Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. And he determined that there were six different principles that uh, persuade people to do the things that you want them to do. So the first is reciprocity, the second scarcity, the third authority, the fourth commitment, the fifth liking, and the sixth consensus. And I'm gonna talk about each one of these. But first I wanna ask, how does social media influence people's decisions today? Well, recently a Netflix documentary came out uh, called The Social Dilemma. And they, in this uh, documentary, they talk about some of the negative effects of social media and how much it's persuading people uh, to think differently and to maybe think negatively. Uh, it persuades people on what they do in their everyday life. And it kind of, in this uh, depiction here, shows the person, person kind of as a puppet to what the media is telling him or her. But there are some positive things that come out of social media influence, uh, especially for businesses. They have found that 67% of people say they're more likely to purchase a product or service after a friend or family member shared it via social media. Also, 74% of consumers allow social media proof to influence their purchasing decisions. And 72% of Instagram users say that they have purchased a product or service that they saw on the app. So you can see how powerful a persuasion and influence is through social media on people's buying habits. Brian Solis, a digital analyst and speaker and author said, social media is about sociology and psychology more than technology. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit and I wanna address six social media action items that you can do today to attract new patients using each one of those principles of persuasion that uh, Robert Cialdini came up with. So let's talk about each one of those. First, reciprocity. He explains that reciprocity is that we feel obligated to return favors to people who have done favors for us. So the action item that I want, the tip that I want to give you around this idea is to give a local business a shout out on your practice's social media accounts. Now, what do I mean by that? So here's the strategy. First, visit a well-known small local business with a decent social media following. So you can see in this uh, photo here, Park Ridge Dentist, they went and visited Icaramba Mexican Restaurant. And Icaramba Mexican Restaurant has uh, 752 followers on their Instagram page. So they took a photo in front of the restaurant with their uh, tacos or with their Mexican food. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do is tell them that you wanna tag them in a photo and tell your following how much you love them. So you can see the caption here under this photo, it said, it's so important to support our local restaurants. Dr. Enger picked up Icarumba restaurant and tagged the restaurant. And then a little tip, you can get margarita pitcher to go and included some hashtags, some local hashtags as well. So if you do that um, it, with a local restaurant, you can continue to do it to as many local restaurants as you want, step and repeat to as many businesses or local restaurants as you can. But if you do that, the hope is that the favor will be returned and that's what reciprocity says. So Slave Lake Dental here, they went to a local boutique where that sells their balloons and gifts and they posted about that boutique, they tagged the boutique and then you can see later Grateful Heart posted about the dental office saying that they are grateful that this office comes in and buys their gifts there and tag the dental office in their post, uh, which went out to all of their followers and probably local followers as well. So this is a great way to reach more people and to get more exposure around your practice, especially to local people. Another strategy behind this is to take a screenshot of a local business on Instagram 
and share it to your Instagram story, including a reason why you love that business. So if you don't have time to go over to the business or take or feel uncomfortable taking photos, simply just take a screenshot of their page and you can include follow Friday as a hashtag. You can do this each Friday if you'd like. And then say why you like that local business and tag that local business. Now it's really easy on Instagram stories for anybody to just share a story that they've been tagged in. So the hope is, is that they'll share that story on their story and write a little uh, blurb about why they like your dental practice and tag you as well. And which will drive more people to your page and you can get some more followers and exposure that way. The third strategy around this idea would be to simply buy a gift card from some of these local businesses and run a little giveaway on your page. Um, a great way to run a giveaway is to require three different ways of entry. First, have people like the post. Second, follow your page. And third, to tag a friend in the comments. So you can see here, they simply hold the gift card up. They say why they like that local business so much. They say, we're giving away this card. You have to do those three things to enter. And so then you can actually go to that business and you ask them if they would share, their, share your giveaway on their page as well, which uh, many businesses would probably be happy to do that because you're talking about them and you're trying to promote that business for them. Dale Carnegie in his well-known book, How to Win Friends and Influence People said, you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people to be interested in you. The second principle is scarcity. And scarcity says we value scarce information and uh, commodities more than things that are in abundance. So my social media action item tip for this is to boost a social media post focusing on a unique benefit of your practice and what people stand to lose if they don't take advantage of getting this benefit. So uh, the way to do this is simply take a selfie video explaining a service that is unique to your practice. So this is a video that was taken by Precision Dental. And um, Dr. Naj just talks about Botox and that they do Botox in their office and some of the benefits of that. And so let me just show you a really quick clip of that. Good morning, everyone. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about Botox and specifically um, how we use it in dentistry. Um, 2020 has been a very stressful year for most people. So one thing um, that we see a lot of patients coming in with these days is a lot of pain in their jaw muscles and they're finding themselves um, clenching and grinding more, waking up with headaches in the morning. Um, so I wanna to talk to you guys about how we can help um, and apply Botox for that specific problem. One thing that I like to um, compare so I'm not gonna show the whole clip, but you can, she's very personable in this video, very sincere. She explains the benefits of Botox. And then what you wanna do is emphasize that it's a unique service that you provide. A lot of people have the need. You can kind of say that you, know, you get a lot of questions about this or a lot of people come in for the service. Uh, tell your following that you have a limited amount of slots available and that your appointments are filling fast for this service. So uh, these type of videos are really popular on social media because people tend to trust these type of videos more because they feel more off the cuff and um, if they create that kind of scarcity type of feeling. Third, you're gonna to wanna to boost your video to your local geographic area, telling them to send you a message if they're interested. So you can boost this on Facebook or on Instagram after you create the video. Just select your local area. Um, in the video, tell people to send you a message if they're interested, and then uh, you can choose the button uh, that is under the video when you boost it to have, have it say send a message, and so they can just send you a direct message. And then, like I said, just target your local geographic area. Good it's morning, a great everyone. way to get out uh, that information fast. The third principle is authority. And authority says we believe what trustworthy and credible authorities say. So my action item for this is to get just one influential current patient to talk about you to their following. 
Uh, so what you want to do is in your next team meeting, ask your staff if they are aware of any current patients that have a large local following on social media. Uh, I would say maybe over 3,000 followers on social media. And be sure that those followers probably come from a local area. Now this could be someone that just you know that has a lot of friends and um, a lot of friends uh, on Facebook or on Instagram. They have a lot of followers on Instagram, but they're somewhat influential in the things that they post. As some of the categories to think of eh, when you're thinking about your patients that might be influential, um, these are some of the categories of talent that, that have kind of lar larger followings on social media. Athletes, podcasters or reporters, photographers, bloggers, musicians or actors, stylists or makeup artists. And then reach out to that patient and offer free or discounted services in exchange for posting about you. So this example here, this is actually my cousin, uh, Natalie Montez. And Natalie is a photographer in Arizona. Uh, she doesn't have a huge following. She has over 3,000 followers, 3,505 followers on, on her Instagram account. She doesn't consider herself an influencer, meaning she doesn't try to, she hasn't tried to build her account to, um, as a typical influencer on social media, someone who might get perks for uh, advertising on their account. She simply just wants to build her audience because she's a photographer and um, she wants to get more business through photography. And if you knew her, she just uh, has a great, fun personality. She has a lot of friends and a lot of people uh, trust her and what she says. So uh, the practice reached out to Natalie and they offered to give her um, a smile makeover if she would post about them. Uh, you can see on Facebook she has uh, over 4,000 friends as well so she could talk about the practice on her Facebook page as well. So she went into the practice, she got some veneer work done and she did these couple of posts. I'm going to show this little quick reaction video that she posted. I can't even open my mouth. Jason, I'm going to cry. That's not okay. <laughs> So she just quickly shared kind of her emotional reaction when she saw her smile. Uh, she talked about Dr. Harmon, tagged the practice, and just said that she's now smiling with confidence and, and posted this photo on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, here, here was her post on Facebook and then she posted on her Instagram stories as well. And I asked her about this. Uh, because I saw her post on social media. I said, hey, how did this work for the dental practice? Did he end up getting more business from it? And she said, Blake, I got so many direct messages from the, these posts that I did. And she sent me some screenshots of some of the direct messages that she got, and I, I, I threw them up here. Um, just people asking about um, how much it cost, uh, why she decided to get it, it was something that they wanted to do, how they did it. And um, so they weren't going to the dentist to ask these questions. They were going to her uh, because they trusted her first before they reached out to the dentist. So this was really a successful campaign for this dental practice and got them a lot more cases just from one patient who didn't have a huge following, but a big enough following to influence enough people in that local area. Mark Zuckerberg said, a trusted referral influences people more than the best broadcast message. The fourth principle is commitment. And commitment says, if people make small voluntary public commitments, they will follow through with larger commitments in the future. So my action item for this is ask for a simple photo, like, or follow when your patients come in. So the first strategy around this is to ask your patients if you can take a photo with them for your social media accounts. Uh, we've created these social signs, is what we call them, uh, that have fun dental puns on them that patients can hold. And it just makes the photos a little more fun than just taking a photo of you smiling at a dental practice. So it becomes kind of an excuse to take a photo. We also have an app that you can use for taking photos with patients. You can either set it up as a photo booth in your waiting room area or you can just have it be on a team member's phone. They take a photo with the patient, they can add little fun stickers and little uh, fun things that we've created inside of the app to the photo. And then uh, you can send the photo through text message or an email to the patient. And then after they receive the photo, as you know, it's so important that you get HIPAA authorization if you post those photos on your account. So they can simply digitally sign an authorization form on their phone 
and give you permission to share it to your account. So this is an app that we provide that really helps with that process of getting those commitments of patient photos. And then invite your patient to share that photo with, on their feed or story. You can even incentivize them with a giveaway if they share to their account. And as you can see here, if a patient shares, it's the reach among their family and friends is so important because these are people that trust them. Your second strategy for doing this is ask your patients while they're in your office if they would follow you on Instagram or Facebook. The commitment of just simply clicking that follow button or like button it goes a long way and can lead to bigger commitments in the future because they've decided that they like you or they want to follow you. So simply, I know this is something hard for a lot of practice to remember, but just asking, hey, are you on Instagram? Uh, yes, I am. We've set a goal in our office to hit 1,000 followers this year. Would you mind helping us out? This is a really good way to uh, approach this conversation is to say that you have set a goal in your practice and asking a patient if they could help you out. Most patients, if you say, hey, are you willing to help us out, are more than willing to help you. One way to do this as well is to create an incentive. You can, have, you can enter their name into a little giveaway that you're doing. If you have a little giveaway basket that you have displayed, say, hey, if you follow us, you can enter to win uh, this little giveaway. And I think that's a fun way to do it as well in your practice. You can put little table tents throughout your office that talk about your Instagram and your Facebook page so people can scan and go directly to your page to follow. Or, this is a really cool idea, you can put this little follower counter on your front desk uh, in your waiting area. What happens with these counters is that when people like or follow you on Facebook or Instagram, they can actually see the number flip to the next number. So it kind of creates this instant gratification that's fun for the patient and creates a little conversation around uh, your social media account. So we're actually running a really uh, great promotion right now at My Social Practice. If you sign up for a social media services, we're throwing in one of these for free for your office. This is a $400 value if you try to purchase this counter anywhere else. So please, if you're interested, reach out to me and I'd love to um, help you take advantage of that offer. The fifth principle of influence or persuasion is liking. And it says if people like you, they're more likely to say yes. So my social media action item behind this is to build relationships by engaging with others on social media. Now, is this the only way outside of the office that you show patients that you care by still sending this uh, postcard, this happy birthday postcard? Is this the only communication that you have with them outside of when they come into your office? If it is, um, it's time to jump on social media and communicate more with your patients. And I put this example up here because I, we recently had twins, I mean my wife, and um, I received a comment on this photo that I posted from a dental practice. Uh, given a lot of dental practices follow me because I have relationships with many dental practices, but I wanted to show this as, as an example if this were my practice. Um, if they were to just give me a really short, quick comment on something personal in my life, that goes a really long ways because it feels like I'm building a relationship with uh, the practice outside of the office. So my suggestion would be to spend five to 10 minutes a day finding your patients on Instagram and liking and commenting on their posts. Another strategy behind this was is to use local hashtags and geotags to find local Instagram users and engage in conversation. Now I know this takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort and you may not have personally this time to do this but someone on your team might be able to do this. This is a great way to connect with people. Uh, so what you do is you just go to the uh, search icon on your Instagram page and you search your local area. So you search, in this case, it's Lehigh, Utah, which is a city in Utah. And it'll give you two options. It will give you top posts or more most recent posts for that area. So I, I did that. I went and saw the most recent posts for Lehigh, Utah. I clicked on a couple of them. You can see one here is of a couple on maybe their anniversary and this other one of this guy with his pet snake. And so you can think of something really short and uh, sweet to say to these people as a comment without being creepy or weird. You can just uh, say something to them because you know these are local people. So on the anniversary one, you can say, hey, I've been to that restaurant. I love that restaurant uh, for the guy with the snake. You can say, wow, what a cool pet. 
And what usually happens when somebody comments on a person's personal Instagram page is that they'll click on who commented and they'll have a chance to look at your page for just that split second. So that will give them a chance to either follow you or just put an impression in their mind of who you are, that you're a local dentist in their area. So if they're looking for a dentist, there could be a good chance that uh, they could reach out to you. The next strategy is to post likable and engaging content that builds relationships with others. Uh, this is a post by Mountain West Dentist and during quarantine they just decided that every Sunday night they were going to post a video of them. It, they actually went live and they played beautiful classical music for their following. And you can see the amount of engagement and views and comments that they got on these posts. Uh, just building relationships with people, not necessarily trying to sell dentistry but using social media to build those relationships and to get people to like you. Because when people like you, then they'll want to do business with you. Uh, quarantine and during COVID was such a good time for practices to reach out and build these relationships to give back to their community. You can see here is a post, uh, this practice that donated to a local hospital. You can see the comment here, wow, really cool. He's my dentist and, got, and just got a lifetime of loyalty. Again, Holly likes this dentist. He, she likes what he believes in, and now he has a lifetime of loyalty from her. The next strategy is to show that you'll keep your valued patients safe because people like you if they feel safe with you. And so a great way to do this, especially as we're coming out of this pandemic, is to show your safety protocols, you know, that you're wearing PPE, what, everything that you're doing to keep your patients safe so that they like you and they trust you and they'll want to come in for their appointments. Content builds relationships. Relationships are built on trust and trust drives revenue. This was a quote by Andrew Davis. He's a best-selling author and keynote speaker. The last principle of persuasion is consensus. And consensus says that people will do things that they see others doing. And this is what uh, Robert Cialdini calls social proof. So my social media action item around this is to get more online reviews. If people see that other people in their local community like you and trust you, they're gonna to wanna to come into your practice. We view a behavior as more correct in a given situation to the degree that we see others performing it. This is what Robert Cialdini said, and this is uh, what he calls, again, social proof. So my strategy for getting more reviews is to look at your schedule each day and to choose a couple patients that you know would give you a positive review. You don't have to ask every single patient to give you a review, but I'm sure you know a lot of patients that have been with you a long time that you know will give you a positive review. So just pick, cherry pick a few during the day and set a goal that you're gonna ask those people if they wouldn't mind sharing their experience with your practice. And then ask them if you, they, again, if they wouldn't mind helping you out, as I talked about before, uh, by sharing their experience through a Facebook or Google review. So it could be a question kind of like this. Hey Carl, you and your wonderful family have been patients here for many, many years. Would you mind sharing your experience with what uh, you have had at our practice? And then my social practice actually provides a software that you can send a quick link through text message to your patient and they can simply click the link. They can choose where they want to leave you a review on Google, Facebook, or health grades. If they click one of those buttons, it'll take them right to your Google page so they can leave a review very quickly and very easily. You're going to want to do that while they're in your practice. And we have found the most success of getting reviews if you can get a patient to do that while they're at your practice. So those are my six action items based on the six principles of persuasion, things that you can do right now in your practice to use social media to get more patients through your door. If you need some more help on this, please reach out to me. We really wanna help you with this. Uh, we will assign you one of our social media consultants to develop a personalized strategy just for you. We can do a lot of things for you. So uh, we know you have limited amount of time, but we can do a lot of the posting, commenting, re replying, for you, so please reach out to us if you need some help with social media. Uh, one thing that we do that helps so many practices is every other month we send this box full of ideas, of props and signs, and so you simply have to take a photo or shoot a little video, send it to us, 
we'll post it for you, we'll boost it for you, um, but you never have to think about what to post on your own. So we love to send this box to your practice um, if you sign up for our services. As I mentioned earlier, we're also throwing in a free follower counter and campaign materials. You can pick from a Facebook one or an Instagram one. We're actually, uh, this was an end of year promotion for 2020, but we're extending it into February. So please reach out to me if you're interested and we can throw in one of these counters for free that I talked about and uh, some of these campaign materials as well if you wanna run a little giveaway around the counter to give away a free Amazon gift card if someone likes you, we'll give you some promotional materials that you can print out of your printer and um, display next to your counter. Uh, if you go to mysocialpractice.com slash counter, you can learn some uh, more about this and you can fill out a request form for a demo. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. Here's my personal contact information. I'm thankful for SmileSnap for inviting me to present to you today. Uh, we love working with SmileSnap. We think our products really complement each other as we help drive people to your website and then they help convert to new appointments through their virtual consultation widget. Uh, so please work with both of our companies. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for your time today.